checking them, check it out. Now, reality check time, motherfuckers. Now, I'm not here to pander to y'all, okay? And the easiest thing to do now, you know, X has passed away. He had a huge fan base. I'm not going to pander to y'all. So, dislike all you want. I'm going to give you, honestly, what the raw facts are. So, there's this whole theory that people still have that Drake either was responsible for X getting killed or Drake basically just paid for somebody, like, to kill X, okay? Now, that was utterly ridiculous. And a lot of people point at certain signs, and we're going to get to all of them. Now, the first sign that people obviously point at is when X is alive, he actually put up a, a post that said, yo, if something happened to me, man, Drake did it. I'm snitching. And people said, whoa, like he knew it before he died. So we should all blame Drake. Now, that was very irresponsible of X. And I'll tell you the real story behind it. I was on the phone with X the whole time. Okay. X got a picture of this. I don't know if it was a gay porn star or whatever, but it was a guy who looked like Drake with cum on his face. Now, he called me fucking hysterically laughing on FaceTime. He said, yo, act, look at this shit, man. And he said, yo, this is Drake. I said, X, that's not Drake. Like, like that's not a real picture of Drake with semen on his face. But he's laughing, whatever, whatever, whatever. He's like, Ack, you got to post this. And by the way, we were having some conversations about some other shit, about some music. And he said, yo, if you want me to do whatever in terms of the music, blah, blah, if you post this picture, I will 100% do it. And I said, bro, I can't post it because I know it's not him. And also, the last time when you and Drake went at it, like, me and Drake, we had a conversation, and Drake basically said, please don't have X's fans get on my case because I'm not taking shots at that young man. Yes, Drake's a little shook of X's fan base. So I said, man, I don't want to be the person who's inciting more issues between y'all, even if it's a funny joke. And it was going pretty viral on Twitter. X says, fine, fuck it. I'm going to post it. And he says, I- I'm going to think of something funny, and I'm going to troll it. He posts the picture, and within a couple of minutes, he hits me back and says, yo, if people are going crazy because in the, the comment section, there was a lot of backlash going at him. He says, yo, I'm deleting it, and I'm going to say I'm hacked. Now, he wasn't hacked, but of course, for the people who are only seen from the outside, it looks like it was hacked. So they're looking online, and they say, oh, shit, X is hacked. Now, when you, when, in the series of him being quote-unquote hacked, he also extended the olive branch to Drake, right? Because, by the way, this all came from the Helping Hand Challenge. This all came from, like, uh, X feeling that Drake bit the Helping Hand Challenge for God's plan to send third, and it was a lot of hurt feels, right? Now, when he posted he was hacked shortly afterwards, he said, because I was on the phone with him, right? I'm on FaceTime with him. And I said, X, do not troll Drake about his mom. And the reason why I said that, months before, or actually a year before when he was in jail, X said to me, yo, the reason I'm mad this motherfucker stole my song is because he's so powerful. If he, like, yeah, you can steal my song, but show up to my court day, you can get me out of jail. That's power. And I said to him, this is a year after, after that, right? To say, don't keep fucking with this guy's mom because if a year ago you felt he could have got you out of jail, you're now out of jail on bail why do you think he can't get you back in if you keep fucking with his mom? So anyway, he goes on this angle and he says, yo, you kind of right. And he says, shit, you think Drake would ever do something to me, blah, blah, blah. And then he sarcastically puts up the post to say, yo, if anything ever happens to me, okay, it's Drake, I'm snitching. Okay, which even that he, he deleted. And if you look at the timeline of how shit was posted, go watch my old video on it. Like, you would tell he wasn't hacked, but people believe he was hacked. And then he said Drake did this. or Listen, he wasn't hacked, okay? And it was supposed to all be a joke that backfired. Now, if that would have meant nothing if he hadn't died, right? But ever since he died, people now have looked to Drake. And Drake, and, and by the way, I'm not excusing Drake for this because it looks like Drake is teetering on the line of sending some subliminal messages. By the way, Drake is a very clever lyricist. Drake knows how to say some shit without saying it. So when I hear Drake, in a bunch of his lines, when he says, Triple X, SMS, that's the only time I ever shoot below the neck, yeah, that could really refer to taking naked pictures and sending them via text message, a.k.a. SMS, right? Or it could be a lightly coded message about the murder of XXXTentacion. Now, Dre got nothing to do with that murder, nothing at all. However, him playing on that line that could be misconstrued kind of makes you look at him and say, what the fuck is going on with you? Same how little Peep fans got at motherfucking Quavo and say, are you dissing our guy? Why would you play on that type of close of a line with your words? Now, after that, we even hear on Mob Ties by Dre, where he says, 
Louis bag in exchange for for body bags. And then we all know the story of how X died. X had a Louis bag with $50,000 and people robbed him and then shot him and killed him. And if you hear that line from Drake and you see your father's the sequence of events, why on earth would you say Louis bags in exchange for body bags? He, the X had a Louis bag. Why would you say that? So I'm not excusing Drake at all, at all, for him playing around and teetering on that line that kind of seems disrespectful and also like you're taking a jab. However, this sicko mode video, I am a little bit lost. I'm looking at it and I'm like, Tankhead, you might be tripping. But I'm going to get to Tankhead afterwards. So if you go to watch a sicko mode video, there's a part in the video where there's a guy who looks like X. He has hair that looks like, he don't even, actually, he don't even look like X to be honest, right? But it's dark, so his body shape looks like X and his hair looks like X. But the, the event that, or the scene he's in, is where he's getting crashed or crushed by a meteor. And people are looking at it to say, Drake, and Drake comes in after that scene too. People are saying Drake maybe put that in the video to kind of also hint again to X being either crushed or dying, right? And people are saying it's fucked up. That's why Tankhead is irate. Now, when it comes to Tankhead, and by the way, I don't believe that for a second. So so let me stay on, on the, uh, the Sycamore video. Drake did not fucking direct it. Drake is not giving create, uh, creative um, instructions when it comes to the video. Travis Scott takes very much pride in crafting his videos and working with his team to come up with a visual experience. Drake is not coming on set like, yo, let's get a scene and a lookalike for X that I could throw another shot at this guy who died. Okay? He could get that petty maybe in his music, but you're not doing that on a set of a Travis Scott music video. Okay? So I don't believe that for a second. But Tankhead, he's very emotional. And you could tell, he's screaming, he, he's, he's super emotional. And I'm not going to blame him here. I'm not going to blame him here because the way how people deal with loss, it is, it, it, it's a case-by-case basis. And if he genuinely feels this, he's getting out how he feels about the situation. And shit, I've had people cuss me out after people died, and you got to excuse those people because people deal with loss differently. So I'm not blaming Tankhead at all. I only say this for fans, and I know fans are going through grief as well. Don't use what Tankhead said because it's just not true. It's simply just not true. X, like uh, Drake didn't fucking craft a sycamore video to this X. No, right? Don't use that to harass somebody, whether it's Travis Scott, the directors, or whoever else. Or the, the, I, I've now found out the guy who played that person, and I don't want to say X, but that person in the video. Don't use how Tankhead feels for you to go harass them. That's the bad thing about when people handle everything publicly because the reason why Drake hit me up months ago when in, re- in regards to um, uh, X and the God's Plan thing and, and, the, and the Helping Hand Challenge is that he didn't want X's harassive and abusive fans to be on his case. And I say this to say now, while we love X and we all miss him, you also have to realize that not Every single thing where somebody mentions X, okay, or triple X, or if anybody has fucking dreads and look like, I guess, physically like X, means it's a shot or some type of jab at the deceased rapper, okay? You got to chill up off saying that everybody's dissing him, dissing the third, because honestly, that's just not true. Okay, and I know for fans of X, y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all want to hear, all right, let's go say fuck them, let's go. But that's just not the case, okay? When the Vic Mensas come around, 100% get at him. But when it's the cases of it could have been just a coincidence, y'all got to chill, okay? And this case, Drake is not directing the video or making those calls on that set for Travis Scott, okay? Again, Kyle Mox, make sure you guys like them, subscribe, George Academics. Got to talk some reason into this, okay? It's easy to lead a fucking mob to just, like, march and ride and fight. But you got to sometimes split hairs and just tell the truth, okay? Get a cop, watch, watch academics.